Hey everybody! This is Amy from Crafters Roost and I am here doing another Facebook live video um, doing some block pumpkins and so wanted to show you uh, what's coming up um, for our next event here. I want to make sure I've got this going where you guys can see it. So we've got these um, really cute um, wood block pumpkins. They're um, the smallest one here is about three inches. And it's a really weird angle, so I apologize if this um, looks weird. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger here for you. Here we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is our next workshop coming up. And uh, we're gonna be doing these on September 29th. And I kinda wanted to show you the process and um, just how easy they are. Again, with any workshop that we do at Crafter's Roost, um, anybody can do it. It's uh, um, super easy and Super fun, I apologize, I'm in the way here. I know I am, I'm trying to get the computer set up here. Okay, so you're gonna start out with a block of wood. Now I've already started painting this one, but I wanna go ahead and um, finish it here for you so you can see um, just how, um, how this goes. So we're just gonna paint it on here. The wood will come already sanded, already cut down, uh, which is nice. So we're just going to get a nice even coat here on this. And if anybody's here, please let me know. Ask any questions that you have or just pop on and say hi. Um, there's that. And this is all just uh, craft paint. Um, I use the, the deco art. I like the um, Anita's. Um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby or uh, Michael's is where I typically get this stuff. Um, so it's nothing special that we're using. Um, it's just plain old craft paint. I'm getting a nice coverage here on top. This is a little bit more porous, so it takes just a little bit more work to get it into the all the the divots in there. But you can see that's pretty good coverage there. All right. So once you get this um, part done, you're gonna have a block. Oh, you'll have three of them. It comes with uh, the three, so it's gonna look like this. You've got all your coverage here. And so um, to get the stripes that we want for um, for a thing, I, we use masking tape and we actually just mask it off here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Just got some um, blue painter's tape. I'm gonna get a nice spot here and I like to try to uh, match it up, make it as even as I can here. Pull it tight, make sure the edges are pressed down good. Make sure this side got done as well. And then it's gonna come around here and it's gonna just match up to the other side. So you're going to continue doing that all the way up um, your pumpkin and you'll have something that looks like this. And this one is uh, one I did earlier today. And so now, <coughs> pardon me, um, we're going to do a technique, it's called dry brush. So if you take a look here, you can see that a lot of the orange still comes through the the white paint. 
And that's because I have so little paint on my brush. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna get a little smidge like that and try to just almost dab off as much as I can. And I'm gonna start up here and just come on here and give it a real dry go over. Just like this. Super easy. If you get too much on there, it's not a big deal. Um, we're gonna, we can sand it, um, sand it back a little bit too. Um, <clears throat> so just dry brushing this on here. Hey Randy! When are you going to come out here and do one of these? Dry brush that on. I want a little bit more up here. Go all the way around here. Do one more side and then I'll show you how it looks. Arizona is very hot. I dare say freaking hot, actually. A friend of mine, I was, um, talking to the other night said he he was just visiting here he said he got off the plane and and um, said hey Arizona the devil called and he wants his weather back and who it's about this time of the year that I check, uh, typically agree because it is I'm done I want to wear a hoodie again um, and so all right so we've got this pretty well dry brushed on here. I think my husband is home, so he might come in and say hello. I'm just going to go ahead and dry brush all of this here. Um, but super easy and it's super cute. You can do all sorts of colors. Um, the orange one looks great. I wanted to try this teal because a friend of mine, Gina, was talking about it. And so decided I wanted to try that. And uh, so tried it. Hey, babe. Facebook says hi. Hi. <laughs> so, Randy, what we're making is these um, pumpkin blocks. They're really cute. I don't know here. See that better. Um, and there's a whole little family of them. And we're going to be doing this in our uh, workshop coming up on the. 29th of September. Um, so it's going to be real fun, real easy, um, super beginner. And if you don't come to the workshop, you can figure out how to do it and just do it here on your own. It's really easy. Um, this is just um, three by three wood that I got from the the home store. Um, I think it's used for like fence posts and I just cut it down into, into little slices and um, no rhyme or reason really to the sizes. Um, okay, so now I've got this dry brush done. You can go ahead and pull off our tape. Maybe if I can find my edge here. Okay, either I'm getting old or something because I can't here we go see the edges of these tapes as it's coming off here if 
I saw these on Pinterest and I said, oh, those look so cute. I think I want some for my house. And now I have them and I'm so happy. All right. So there is our pumpkin. And uh, one thing I do like to do at the very end is get just a smidge more paint and just kind of dry brush up and down this whole thing. Just to give it a little bit more of an aged look. Um, and it also kind of brings out this uh, wood grain that's under here. Just a little bit. Give it a nice little distressed look here. But as you can see, I'm just dipping, just kind of brushing almost all of that paint away um, when I go to dry brush it here. And the nice thing about this is if you're like, you're like, oh, I put too much paint somewhere, you can always just grab the blue paint and um, paint over it and do it again. It's, you know, it's really friendly um, like that. So, okay. And when you're finished, I already pre-painted uh, my stem, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of wood glue on here. A little wood glue here. that around a little bit. That one around a little bit. Just hold it on here for a few seconds. It doesn't take very long. Well, there you go. I mean, it's pretty cute. You can tie any sort of little ribbon around it that you like. This was just some green jute that I had laying around. Um, but you can finish it off anyway. You could use it as some ribbon. Um, raffia would look cute. Um, or you can just leave it like this. I mean, somebody said it looks a little bit like dynamite, which I guess, I suppose it does. <laughs> um, but that's it. That's as easy as it is. And um, I went really fast doing it. Uh, you could take your time a little bit more. So if you are interested in doing that, again, this is gonna be September 29th. Um, the cost is $25, I think. Um, and you can register online at um, www.craftersroost.com slash workshops. And we certainly look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions, please feel free to type them in the comments below and I will answer them um, and get the information that I can for you. Um, so hope you have a great rest of your evening and we will see you later.